The seeds and leaves of the ginkgo biloba tree and various extracts made from them have a long history of use as a herbal remedy. Claims have been made for reducing risk of heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and asthma, none of which have been substantiated by proper scientific studies. However, the most popular claim for preparations made from the seeds or leaves harvested from one of the world's oldest species of trees is improvement in cognitive function and memory. It isn't surprising that with the baby boomers reaching age when the memory begins to fail and the risk of various forms of dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, increase, supplements of ginkgo are enjoying booming sales. Unfortunately, studies, of which there are many, do not support the increased interest, but they do call into question the safety of ginkgo supplements. The Ginkgo Evaluation of Memory, or GEM study in the U.S., divided over 3,000 subjects, all aged over 75, who had either none or just mild cognitive impairment into two groups. One took 120 milligrams of ginkgo extract twice daily, the other a similarly looking placebo. Six years of follow-up revealed no effect of ginkgo on cognition, memory, or incidence of Alzheimer's disease. In other words, taking the supplement was useless. Or perhaps worse than useless, since the study also found a slight increase in breast and colorectal cancer among the subjects taking ginkgo. Other issues have been raised as well. As with many supplements, there is no guarantee that what is claimed on the label is in the bottle. Some surveys even found samples that contained no ginkgo at all. Then there's concern that ginkgo can interact in a negative fashion with prescription medications, particularly anticoagulants, blood pressure medications, and diabetic drugs. Also concerning is a study by the National Toxicology Program in the U.S. that found an increase in liver cancer in mice given ginkgo biloba leaf extract. That prompted the International Agency for Research on Cancer to classify ginkgo extracts as being possibly carcinogenic to humans, ranking it alongside gasoline, naphthalene, aspartame, pickled vegetables, and lead. Proponents of ginkgo do dredge up some studies from literature that show some benefit, which is no surprise. Carry out enough studies, and there have been many on ginkgo, sometimes positive results will occur purely by chance. Given the results of the GEM trial, the worrisome studies in mice, the possibility of interaction with medications, and the lack of regulations governing dietary supplements, we can conclude that ginkgo preparations do not have a favorable risk-benefit profile. However, the tree itself is very attractive and has outlived the dinosaurs. It can even be grown ornamentally indoors as a bonsai tree. It's pleasing for the eyes. But forget about the leaves as medicine. That for today is our Kappa Joe.